Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Mr. Alonzo coming to you guys with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to brush 360 waves. Now, there are other patterns such as 720s and 540s. If you guys would like to try those patterns, go ahead and search them up on YouTube and you should find other YouTubers that will show you how to brush that pattern. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to brush 360 waves. Now, <clears throat> you guys are going to want to have a brush apparently. If you guys have longer hair with waves, then you guys are going to want to have a hard brush. Um, for me today, I'm going to be using a soft brush. I have a Diana. These are soft bristles, as you guys can see. <clears throat> and I have an Annie brush. If you guys want to have the best 360 waves that you guys can have, you guys are going to want to make sure that you guys have a mirror. You're going to want a mirror brush just like this. As you guys can see how I'm standing right here, this is exactly how you guys want to be positioned when you guys are brushing the back of your head. Now when you guys are brushing the front, you guys can look straight into the mirror just like this and you guys can brush as so. Now also, what I want to let you guys know is you guys should start combing your waves. Yes, combing them. Um, by combing them, I mean combing them forward like this, as you guys can see, and you will not lose your waves by doing this if you guys brush your hair a lot and your hair is trained. Do not start combing your hair if your hair is not trained. Now really quick, I'm going to comb my hair backwards so that you guys can see how long it actually is with waves, and then I'm going to comb it back down and then I'm going to put some product in and rag up. Um, so this is going to be a full video on how to brush them real quick. As you guys can see, I'm combing my waves backwards. If, when you guys comb your waves backwards, you guys wanna comb your waves in the direction of your 360 wave pattern. If you do not do that, you could probably mess up your waves. Sometimes it is good because you guys are confusing your waves, but that is only when your hair is trained, you know? So I'm brushing my, I'm combing my hair back, and this right here is just to show you guys that your 360 waves can still be trained even if your hair is combed out, you know what I'm saying? You guys can comb your hair and it will not mess up your 360 waves. As you guys can see, my hair is literally all the way combed out. There's nothing. No waves. <clears throat> and when you're combing the back, you guys want to look in the mirror as well. I'm going to look in my mirror right here, as you guys can see. And I'm going to, I'm going to comb perfectly with my wave pattern. Straight up. Straight to the crown. And this is only for trained hair, just to remind you guys, do not do this if your waves are not trained because when you comb your hair back down, it will not lay down how you want it to. And just, if you guys wanna know, when you do this, all you have to do is brush your hair right back down and rag up for the night. When you get up in the morning, make sure you guys get a brush session in, all right? That's all you guys have to do. All right, as you guys can see, my waves are literally combed all the way out. There's not one wave on my head, no waves, right? All I'm gonna do is literally comb my hair right back down and brush it, brush it. So as you guys can see, combing my waves back down And the waves are coming back. You can still see the waves in my hair because why? My waves are trained. I've been brushing my hair constantly for the last few days. All right, so now once your hair is combed down, I'm gonna do the back too. Exactly how you combed it up is the same way you're going to comb it down. And you see that? My hair is trained so it's laying back down beautifully. And if you guys can see, I hope you can, there are some waves coming back. And this, all this is doing is breaking all, that, all those naps in your hair, moving your waves, making it easier for your waves to, you know, be trained. So I've combed my hair perfectly back down to how it was. 
as you guys can see, I still have waves. Now all you guys are going to want to do is put some pomade in your hair and brush it down. <clears throat> so right now I can't find my other pomade. Actually, I think I know where it's at. Right here. Alright. So you guys are going to want to... Here. You guys are going to just get a nice amount that fits, that will fit all your hair, you know what I'm saying? You want to rub it in your hands like that. And this right here is going to lay your hair down. So when you do all that brushing and you're training your hair, when you put your do-rag on at night, your hair is going to grow overnight in that position or your hair is just going to stay in that position for you to brush tomorrow you know it's basically just holding your progress that you just did from all that brushing as you guys can see once i applied this pomade my waves instantly came back <clears throat> not came back but they popped out more because my hair is being laid you know what i'm saying so now you're going to pick up your brush and you want to constantly do brush strokes brush strokes all over your head and make sure when you're brushing do not brush like this don't do that because you want your waves to connect so you want to do constant brush strokes on the sides of your head and that's called angles angles everybody as you guys can see I brush one part of my head solidly and then I move on to the next as like this Now that we're moving on to the back, you're going to want to have your mirror so that you can see the back of your head. And you're going to you want to start at your crown and go straight down. And if you guys want to use my angles, you can. These are the angles that I use. I go to the side, I go down like this, and I hit my uh, my side right here just like this. And when I'm hitting the back, I go straight down just like that. And the same for the other side. Go down just like that. And then I hit my side. As you guys can see, I have a perfect spiral going out of my head. That is exactly how you brush your 360 waves. Make sure you stay consistent with your brush strokes, by the way. So how I'm brushing my hair, you wanna brush your hair like this. Brush your sides like this, and brush this like this. Your top. And when you're brushing the back, same thing. Constant brush strokes. As so. And that's pretty much it on how to brush your 360 waves. If this video helped you, please give it a like. It's your boy, Mr. Alonzo, and I'm out.